Hello everybody and welcome to this new video. So in this video I will show you how to create cinema graphs with Photoshop. So cinema graphs as you can see is a still image in which only one part or some parts are moving. So in our case this this part here only is moving. Okay. So this is the cinema graph that we will be creating for this video. So fire up your Photoshop. Okay. And go to file open and in your project files go to cinema graphs and choose soda drink this will open a new tab here i'm gonna exit this one when we import a video inside of photoshop it will create this video group if you don't see the this timeline window here go to window and choose timeline okay so now we have to specify the beginning and the end of our video so this is all a wasting part of the video or a wasted part of the video so i will go let's say here so this will be the beginning of our video and i'm gonna drag all the way to this part here okay so now it automatically takes this clip and brings it to the beginning so now I need to specify the end of my video so right there and now I will bring this part here okay so we have our video and if I play it's looping as you can see and what I want to do now is I'm gonna zoom in inside my video you with this little icon here you can zoom to your, to see more frames of your video so now I need to take an image and make it on top of this video so remember all the parts of this video should be still only this will be the moving part so I will choose a spot for example right there and I'm gonna create an image from this Part of the video and to do that on your keyboard press Control shift alt and e remember Control shift alt and e and this will bring this layer 2 here this is an image and it's inside of our video group what I want to do is drag and drop this image outside this video group so you drag and drop until you see this blue line here not the blue square but the blue line and you let go and now we have this image in separate separately in the timeline okay so I will bring it all the way to the beginning and let me zoom out and bring this part to the end of our video just like that so now if I play nothing is moving because I have my image on top of the layers so what I need to do now is make sure that I have selected this image here and click on this icon that says create layer mask. Okay, so now make sure also that you are selecting this thumbnail here, this white thumbnail, not the image, but this white thumbnail here. Then choose the brush tool and with your colors, make sure that you have the black color selected. Okay, you choose the black color. So in fact, Imagine that this layer here or this image is a wall and if I paint a part in this wall it will be a window that let us view what's below this wall here. So what I will do is I'm gonna zoom in inside my video. To zoom in you press the alt key on your keyboard and you with the mouse you scroll up and down to zoom in and out. Okay so I'm gonna make my brush bigger and to do that also you press and hold the alt key and with the mouse you right click right click drag to the right to make it bigger drag to the left to make it smaller okay so i'm gonna make it a little bit smaller and now i will brush whatever part i want to move so i will brush here so i'm gonna hide this layer here just to show you the result i will brush in here Okay, that should be fine for me. So I'm gonna 
click on this eye here again and if I play my image as you can see the final result is very good we have everything is still and this part here is moving so I'm gonna press on my keyboard control zero and I don't want this part here to show okay I don't want my hands holding this to show so what I will do is crop my image or my cinema graph all the way here press enter on my keyboard and this is the final result okay now to export our cinema graph you go to file export and save for web make sure that this is a gif animation okay make sure here you, you are selecting gif and also that in this looping options make sure that you are selecting forever okay i don't know why it's taking so long for me okay that's it and make sure you are selecting forever and gif and you save your video if you this will save it to a gif which is considered an image if you want to save it into a video then what you need to do is go to file export and render video okay so that's it for this video thanks for watching it and see you in the next one